Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to my quarantine vlog. So you know that today we're not gonna go anywhere. It's 10.15, let's go have breakfast with baby boy. Baby boy, hi. Buongiorno. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Do you have a lesson now? In 12 minutes. I start at 11 today. For some reason, breakfast is like one of my favorite parts of the day. I drink something warm, I eat something, and I think about my day. Cool. So guys, since I'll be working a little bit today in like 30 minutes and I need to prepare something, I'll work two hours and then I'll give you an update. <sighs> I want you to know the full, honest Sonia quarantine life and share this moment with you. So, later. Two hours later, I want to talk a bit. Let's go somewhere more comfortable. Quarantine update! Yay! So let's start from the truth. I know a lot of people, because I have friends and family, and they're telling me how life has changed and how they're, it, it's so weird for them to be home all day, every day, and how different it is for them. The honest truth is that for me, life hasn't changed much. I was working from home before the virus and I am obviously working from home now. So the only difference in my day-to-day -day life, my everyday life, is that instead of going to the gym, I work out in my living room. Another difference is that, okay, maybe you didn't know, but now you do. I don't like to clean. I don't like to clean. So yes, Bran and I have a cleaning lady. I know you probably have your opinion, but I think it's money well spent. <laughs> yes, yes, I think it's money well spent. So we have a cleaning lady, but she's not coming anymore, obviously. So we have to clean a little bit more and my house is a little messier, so that's a difference. And another difference is that on my weekend, instead of going out and having fun, I'm obviously home. But also, my weekend is usually Friday and Saturday because I work on Sundays. But since we had to cancel our trip to America and we have to be home, I'm working Fridays as well. Today's Friday. I am thankful because I know a lot of people are struggling with work and this situation is really hard for them. I get it. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. But I'm not experiencing that boredom and like that I don't know what to do because honestly, I'm working a lot. I increased the time slots that I work. What else am I gonna do? Am I going to enjoy life? Of course, another big difference is that anxiety always there you wake up you check the news you have a break you check the news you turn on the TV you check the news there is sadness in Italy and in the world and I am NOT immune even though my life is apparently going on as usual I am NOT immune to the sadness it's just not a good period you know you're worried about your loved ones I have my grandparents I'm worried about my mom like she has asthma I'm worried about people I don't even know and when I hear someone died I feel bad so I try not to it's it's hard but I try not to read the news every hour anyways on a good note I think my friends and my family they have been really good at following the quarantine and the guidelines I went to a store only once because I needed to go to the drugstore I went out to run once but I know that now it might be a problem so I'm not doing that anymore I've been working out in my living room that's it work not a lot of fun a lot of anxiety <laughs> a lot of food because yeah what else am I gonna do I'm gonna work and eat Take a bath. I'm taking a bath like every night, kind of relaxing. Brian's family has been really good at handling this situation. I know it must be hard because Brian's here, so everybody understands. Yeah, that's it. Let's see what baby boy's doing. All I wanna do is you made me feel crazy. All I wanna now, baby, don't you cry. You. Okay, my next lesson was postponed by one hour and this gives me time to make some coffee because it's that time of the month I'm sorry boys for the TMI and I'm feeling really tired and it also gives me time to work on Italian time a little bit so when Brian's ready we're gonna make a video yes let's be productive so Brian just came in and he was like oh you look like a jelly bean because she was standing like this shape and I was like <laughs> 
And she was just standing there. <laughs> Thank you. That's really nice. I'm a romantic person. What can I say? I'm tired. You know, it's that time of the month. TMI, girl. TMI. I already said that. But I don't care. Because this is my channel. It's my channel. Ciao a tutti! What's up? Ciao a tutti! Come state? Bentornati su Italian Breeze! <sighs> Add some effects. La puntata di oggi! Grazie mille di aver guardato! Ci vediamo la settimana prossima! Ciao ragazzi! Peace! Okay, we're back and I'm starting in 10 minutes. Thank you, baby boy. And you're so cute. You're so cute. Now, Enough. leave. I need to work. I can't wait to make cookies later because I've been craving cookies for a week now. Mmm. Mmm. Chocolate chip. Peace. Soft and raw. I have a yard and we decided to have our lunch there because I needed some sunlight and yeah that's Bianchina and I had some vegetables from the previous day, some salmon and crackers and Brian had his beloved Piadina. If you don't have a porch or a balcony, don't be jealous because I swear this is the first time since the beginning of the quarantine that I've used this. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. At least the weather is nice. Perfect. Yeah. I just had my dose of vitamin D and I feel more relaxed now. <laughs> Who's there? I'm in prison. No, you're not. Who wants some cookies? I have the stuff. You have the stuff? Do I you have it. the recipe? I'll get it. Okay. So I received some cool recipes from one of you guys, Ilaria. Hi, if you're watching, thank you so much. But today we don't have a lot of ingredients. I think we'll just make normal chocolate chip cookies, no frosting. Chocolate chip cookies recipe. Oh my God, yes. If I have the butter, I have everything. Let's go. I have the butter so we can make cookies. The only problem is that we don't have a scale. I hope Brian's good enough at eyeballing things because I'm not. Let's try. It's 240 grams, so it's so, like one fourth of this bag. So a little less than half of it. It's so difficult to eyeball things. Sorry, Ilaria, if you're watching this or people who like to bake and have all the tools and stuff, we don't. You go, Brian, you go, Brian. If you don't do this, what planet are you from? Do you see this? This is gonna melt and they're gonna look like one whole thing. Like a flat bed of cookies. Yeah, like a flat bed of cookies. Well, let the experiment begin. Time has started. It's been two minutes in and this is where we stand already. <laughs> They're just melting. This is what they look like. <laughs> yes, they look so beautiful. But they're good. Second round? Mm -hmm. It smells amazing in here. It sounds bad, but I hate to admit that these are not the worst looking cookies we've made. I want to try half. Looks fun. So good. So unhealthy. But we are quarantined. We have to find some happiness in this life. As you know, I have been studying Chinese and this lockdown is the perfect opportunity to study Chinese a little bit more. So I went to my porch again and I started studying. Do not use Google Translate. That doesn't work. I think I think I had too much sugar, guys. Right now I'm like, whoo! And in one hour when I need to start working, I'll be like, nah. Now I'm done for the day. And after all those cookies, I know it sounds useless, but I'm ready to work out a bit. You know, like you know, you do what you can. Right, Bianca? 
Baby boy. What's good, G? You ready to work out? I'm always ready to work out. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. Girl. You work out 10 minutes and you're like, I'm good for the day. After eating half the cookies we made, it's time to work out because hell first. And to work out, we have dumbbells and we have the elastic bands. I've been loving elastic bands, so I'm pretty sure you already know what they are. These bad boys here. Let's do it. In this period, I've been trying to work out every day. Maybe 30, 40 minutes a day. I usually alternate. So one day I do something more like cardio. So maybe I follow a video on YouTube, something that, you know, makes my blood pump a bit. And some days I want to do some strength. So I use elastic bands, I use dumbbells, I do something that is more like muscle focused. For the cardio workouts, there are plenty of videos on YouTube you can use. I love them for different tastes and skills. So I recommend using them. For this kind of workout, since I've gone to the gym for a lot of years, I feel like I know what to do, so I follow my own workout. <laughs> and our amazing workout's done! Now I do feel fit and healthy. <laughs> we're talking about dinner, we're not even that hungry. No. Because we ate so many cookies, but I think we should still eat something. Because if I don't eat something, I feel like the day's not over. We just saw the news, and today... It was a bad day. I was feeling a little down, I'm feeling a little down. I had never lived anything similar before. It really seems so, like something, it, I don't know, like it's straight out of a movie. But yeah, we'll watch a movie tonight, we'll play a game, what do you wanna do? We'll do something cool. We need to stay positive and keep having fun as much as we can in your house, in your house, following the rules, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished dinner. Now it's time to just kick back, chill for the rest of the day. Luckily, Sonny and I are off tomorrow, and uh, it's a day in our life of quarantine, so nothing too exciting. Subscribe to the vlog. Deuces.